Hello everyone, welcome to this back of AX 8000 motion control series video. This is the first video. In this video, we will discuss how can we scan the AX 8000 drive. We can upload the hardware configuration so that we can set up the EtherCAD I.O. configuration. And after that, I will create the drive manager, the project. So the drive manager software can read the actual motor, identify the motor type. So we could basically set up the entire hardware configuration in this system. We start from the scratch, set up one solid base. That allows us to do some further test. So this is the first video and we will mainly focus on the hardware. All right, let's start. Let's create a new project. Right click and click this run as administrator. And let's create a new project. And I will name that AX8000. We create a project and then let's create a PLC project. Okay, create a PLC project. Okay, now let's try to connect the controller. Let's go to the edit routers. And from here, click the edit. And here, let's enter the IP address of our controller and click the enter host. Okay, once you see this connect, it shows cross. That means this edit router found this controller. And then you can rename this router name. By default, that is the computer name. I recommend you can change the name as your project name or as your test name. This name is just a router name. Okay, let's click this edit router. Click this router. My password default is an administrator and the password is one. This is a common password from backoff controller. Okay, now here the connected shows cross. That means so we create this router successfully. Okay, now let's select this connection. And once you see there's no error at here, this TwinCat 3 software found this controller. Okay, now let's set the real time so that we can download and config properly. So firstly, let's read this target. Make sure you connected this controller first. So once you click this read target, that read the actual controller hardware configuration. Okay, let's click this set. Here we set two courses to the target controller. So we have a two isolated courses. Okay. And now we can go to the IO devices. And from the hardware wise, I already connected the hardware. So now we can click this scan and allow the IPC to scan the hardware. But here we can see after we click the scan, we can see the system will pop up this IO device found. So the system asks us which Ethernet port we are going to use to scan the field bus, the EtherCAD. So in this case, the AX8000 drive is connecting to a Ethernet port. The Ethernet port install the EtherCAD driver, the real-time driver. If you purchase one IPC industry PC from Bikeoff, basically the Bikeoff will deliver the IPC install the real-time driver. However, if you have your personal IPC or you are using your personal laptop as the controller, so you need to install the real-time driver first. So to install the driver first, you can directly open the TwinCAD 3 software without creating the project. And then you go to the TwinCAD and click this show real-time Ethernet compatible devices. And from this list, you can see the installed, the ready to use. If this is the first time for you to install, so you can click the purple Ethernet the card and click this install. That install the EtherCAD, the real-time driver to your Ethernet adapter. So okay. after you install the driver, and from here, after you click the scan, so the system will show up here. In this case, I'm using this port as my EtherCAD master. So I will click the device three, click OK. Okay, after we click OK, the system will scan all the devices going through the EtherCAD, this field bus. And now we can see, since in this system, I'm connecting the AX8000, the drive, 
so the system scanned this device and because it's a drive system so the system asks us if we need to create an nc configuration okay so we can follow this guidance and click the ok after this we can see the system will create this motion here that because here the ax 8000 we have a two drive two motors at here so from this motion this folder it create two axes that two axes automatically connect to the hardware click this online or ethercad click this top logic to verify if this offline or online configuration they match or not okay so the system shows match that means all the actual devices we read successfully okay this is my actual top logic it shows online configuration and now i'm going to disconnect the ethercad cable so we can see this device lost so it shows red now i recover this cable and let's do the refresh and let's check it again so this is a really good place to troubleshoot especially when we just start up the system so sometimes the cable cannot be connected very well or the cable the router and now you can see i recover the cable and this online configuration shows crap okay and then let's go to this adapter this page this page allows us to verify if the Ethernet adapter was selected correctly. And now let's go to the license. So since in this system we have a drive system and it called the motion, the NC, the access configuration. So we do need NCPTP, this license TF5000. So we can click this seven day trial license and active this license so the trial license has a seven days after seven days expire we can click this seven days again so that's really good for the new learner and after this we can build the project and download the hardware configuration click this active configuration okay active configuration please watch this transition this is small square transition and we can see the system status let's shift to the run mode So once you see this yellow gear running inside, that means the system download the hardware successfully and it's run again. From this IO list, we can see other than the drive, the system also read the safety controller 6900 through this EK1100. This is the EtherCAT interface. And through this interface, we read those modules here. So those modules, they also have a safety input and a safety output. I will use another video show the safety program for enable the STO, the safety torque off the function. Okay, and we basically config the IO. This is a very basic configuration. And now we can create the drive manager, the project. So we can do the further configuration on the drive side, the infeed and the motor, the motor module. We can create a new project, add, new project keep in mind we need to install the drive manager the software at first so you will see this item showing here so let's create this drive manager this project once you read the actual IO from the ethercat here and after you create this drive manager this project so the system will automatically detect in your system in your hardware configuration you have a two motors here you have the drive and the two motors here so the system will pop up this that's why make sure you read the hardware io at first and then create the drive manager the project so the system the drive manager can detect your hardware configuration okay so in this case I'm using the three-phase AC 480 watt 
this infeed and I have a two motors okay uh, let's click the continue and let's set up this drive manager project in the meantime the system will automatically detect the actual motors okay so we definitely need uh, 20 seconds maybe around one minute because the system is reading the actual hardware configuration so we can see now it shows the green check that means the drive manager this project the found the motor configuration but in some okay. cases in case this automatic detection is not working properly so you can still use the manual way to config the motor size don't worry so you can try the automatic detection first and then in case it's not working properly you can still manually config the motor as we can see here this is my motor tab and the system detect that all right so let's double click here to open the drive manager software and this is the infeed module okay so from this list we can see this is the diagram of the drive system and this is the power input and this is the dc bus click this online check so double check the configuration and your actual voltage input okay this is the infeed portion and double check the catalog number if the actual catalog number match our order match your actual hardware so this is the first time to power up so we can reset the fault check something if the system shows the error then we can go to the advanced so here you can use the parameter list to set the parameter or you can use the process data to source some variable and allow the PLC to read the value or set the value. All right, let's go to the motor side. Click this channel A, the channel A motor. And here you can double check your motor type, especially verify if this motor come with a brake. And also double check the encoder to have a rough idea what the resolution from your encoder and let's click this load so here we briefly set something here firstly this mechanical speed limitation on the motor we can set 1000 rpm setting okay click this control and enter so we can download the parameter it will change from the red to black that means it download to the hardware and notice this so it depends on your application if you are using the drive for the linear motion so you can click this linear if you are using the drive to control the wonder or some cam so probably you can select this rotary selecting this it will control this ratio this setting i think most of the learners you will feel trouble on this ratio setting so here this is a very simple guidance for example for the linear it will let you know for every motor rotation your actual load how long it drive so for example for this case if i set a 60 here that means my motor run one revolution so your actual load will travel 60. okay so it's doing this ratio behind so automatically calculate something behind okay and in my case i'm using the rotary especially for testing purpose we can use the one rotary means 360 degree so we have a the direct sense saying for example i said 360 per minute so the motor will run one revolution per second okay regarding the rotary i can select the rotary and i can set 360 degree and then the system will pop up this window basic idea is after we set something in the drive manager it will store all the setting into the system manager however this time the setting from the system manager haven't transferred to the nc access yet so here this is a double check we click the save and we also need additional step to synchronize the system manager setting to the nc access i will show this after but here highly recommend you click ok so it can save some setting also we should keep in mind so all the settings so far we are still offline we definitely need to go online and click the active configuration to download the hardware configuration keep in mind this click ok then the system will pop up this 
the modification has now been active. Please download the modification in NC configurator, right? That means we config something to allow this configuration works. So we need to active this hardware configuration, download hardware configuration, okay? And then let's click this small button. And then let's go to the scaling. The scaling, we can double check if the encoder scaling works here. And also we can see the blue column. So allows us to double check or to synchronize all the settings at here to synchronize back to the NC access. We can click this save NC parameters. We can see there are two lines here. One line shows current value, one line shows new value. Because we click that synchronize, now from this drive area and our NC, this area, they match together. But definitely this blue means this is the online value. That we haven't downloaded the parameter yet, so that's why this online value shows blue. They are now matching the offline configuration. But once we click this download, the active hardware configuration. So those parameters will download, they will match after. So keep in mind here, this is your NC, this scaling. In my case, I'm using the rotary. So one motor revolution means 360 degree, which is very straightforward. Here, that actually include the ratio from your gearbox. Let's click this save NC parameters and we are ready to download the hardware configuration. Okay, now the system shows now ready. That's because we haven't set up the safety yet. So the drive are blocked it by the safety. Okay, so we briefly go through the tune, diagnostic and advanced. All right, let's have a brief review. Okay, in this video, we use a scan. The scan function allows us to read the actual top logic and the actual hardware configuration. So we have a two easier cut stations here. One is EK1100. Under the EK1100, we have a safety module and the signal modules. Also, I have AS8000 hardware drive here. The drive has a two motors here. And while we are reading the hardware drive, the system will automatically create these two axes here. And the hardware configuration will automatically connect to these two axes. It's also easy to change after, but basically I will follow this guidance. And after this, we create this drive manager, this project, and drive manager project will synchronize the offline hardware configuration from your IO to here. And once you click the online, so this drive manager will read the actual motors, the configuration. So till this step, we basically finish the, all the hardware configuration. However, after you download the hardware configuration, you will find you can now start up the motor. You can now power on the motor, even use the NC power up the function block control. That's because the drive is still limited by the STO, the safety, safety torque off mode. So we need to figure out the safety at first, and then we can start the program and power on the motor and run the motor. So that's why the second video in the next video, I will discuss how can we program the CD controller and program the function block to enable the STO CD torque off. This is a very essential step. If you only see some videos talking about how to start the commissioning on the drive, but the first step, you need to figure out how to start up the CD. But the CD is still another word you need to figure out how to config the EL6910 and how to program, or at least briefly give a on, give a enable signal to the drive, right, for the test purpose. So next video, we will discuss this topic. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.